Okay, and here we are, coming back into the break at runway 19 at RF Valley. Now, we've had been out in the area, we've uh, burnt a lot of fuel off uh, on an exercise we were doing, and we're coming back in for runway 19. As you can see, we're sort of facing southwards where the sun is, which is always a good thing. My pilot is aiming for a 500 foot break at about 360 knots, which is about 400 miles an hour. Uh, we're going to extend down the runway on what's called the dead side, and that's the side of the runway away from the active circuit. The circuit here is a right hand brake. Um, out pretty much to point north and because we're on 19 it means the wind is very strong from the south or the southwest and actually today it's about 20 or 30 knots so really we're not going to point the reciprocal of this runway which would be like 013 we're going to port uh we're going to kind of point about uh, north and that will make sure that the wind doesn't blow us back into the runway too much so as you can see there probably out the front we're just approaching the threshold of the runway you can see the threshold in white just coming out there through his canopy at 500 feet we call initials at three miles and we're extending now because he's going to have to break and in a climbing turn he should find it relatively easy with idle and the air brake to get rid of the speed to roll out downwind so we can select his services. There's roll, pull, idle, air brake, or travel. He'll probably keep that aircraft on the light buffer there. It was a 4G brake looking out the top and he's going to have to roll out as I said north at 1000 feet. So he's climbed 500 feet which helps him get the speed off. And he's going to roll out, check his dead wing, make sure he hasn't got any traffic on the left hand side. And he's going to try and put his wing tip down the runway as you can see there, so he doesn't close into the airfield there at RF Valley. Now he's got to slow down, get below 200 knots, which happens really at the, uh, the threshold where he's about to tip in. And then he's going to travel his air brake in, check the MI, says that it's in, and travel the gear down below 200 knots. He's also going to travel down flat. Uh, below 200 knots as well and he's going to tip in and start the pull and as he pulls the gear and the flap are still traveling they're not locked down that page on the left hand mfd you might see there is the hide page i select because it gives me an indication if i've got any hydraulic problems and halfway around this turn the gear is finally going to give him three greens and the flap should give him down flap and really he can't pull too much alpha in this turn until he gets that down flap so he's got to kind of vary that a little bit halfway around then he should be at 650 feet that's a good judgment and again he's then bleeding his speed off to his alpha which is five alpha he's going to land at approach speed today for us we are heavy it's about 125 knots 127 knots in fact a little bit more than normal uh, and also we're going to carry about five knots in for gusts because gusts come across the uh, the undulations just south of the runway sorry north of the runway threshold here but towards us before we land and they can cause some um, some uh, rotors and some vortexes coming up there so we hold a few knots in we're also going to stream the chute here and i do point the camera out back to see that so uh, we do have good 20 25 knots on the nose but we are heavy so we're a little bit concerned we have briefed a barrier speed in case for some reason we don't stop nicely touched down there bang nose down once he's down he can flick the switch looking out back should just shoot come out there i don't know i haven't watched this film yet probably no shoot we'll see the shoot in a minute but you might get an idea of the retardation that the shoot gives us it's not a big shoot it's a tiny shoot little shoot for the little airplane there we go it is out back anyway he's got the throttle closed now and uh, you should be able to see it as we turn off the uh, short runway here onto the main runway there's the main runway and you should see it out the back there it is hello shoot how you doing I'm good thanks and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that shoot off in a second and we'll leave it on the main runway and a little wagon will come out and pick it up for us uh, which is quite good of them really because um, I'm not gonna walk out there and pick it up myself the shoot is pretty good it does uh, slow the aircraft down very quickly and uh, we will now pretty much get rid of that, get rid of that shoot and we're going to taxi in and get some uh, after landing checks done. And uh, pretty much this is, the, uh, this is it. I hope you kind of enjoyed that video. Um, it's really all I could give you today, but uh, I'll hopefully put some more up later. Thanks very much, Tim Davies.